Welcome back to the Cozy Cottage Homestead. It's been a little while since I've made a video. We all grieve in different ways, but today we are working on my Yamaha 2004 400 Big Bear four wheel drive. Years ago, we would go to ATV parks and ride, and my little four wheeler, which wasn't really so little at the time, looked like a little turtle compared to all of the new ATVs that have come out over the years. So I wrote my grandpa's slogan on the front of it, what of it? So today we have started working on it. We replace some of the brake calibers on the front. And to our surprise, we did not know, they came with the brake pads, so that was awesome. There's nothing mechanically wrong with my Big Bear. It just had some things that was needing to be repaired, like the brakes. Um, brakes really wasn't that important when I was younger, but now that I am older and have some health problems, it is quite important that I have some decent brakes on my four-wheeler. So that's what we're working on today. Um, on the rear end, we are changing the brake shoes and this is what the brake shoes look like right here which in a sense kind of reminds me of a horseshoe i don't know that i've ever seen these ironically my son is an atv slash motorcycle slash snowmobile any kind of mule any kind of large atv that's what he went to college for was to work on atvs and motorcycles snowmobiles you name it any kind of small engine like that so too bad he's not here i'm sure he could show us a bunch of tricks and probably even do this with his eyes closed These rear brakes have never been changed since I bought it brand new in 2005. So this part does seem to be a little more difficult to free it from the axle. This bike has been sunk so many times in mud. We used to go to mud fest that the neighbors had across the way. So it's been up to the handlebars in mud. So I can only imagine that it's pretty tight on there because it's never been taken off. And there it goes. And as you can tell, I don't know if you can see with the glare, but there's definitely a lot of gunk around it or you can tell the mud and water has seeped in there, which is probably why the rear brakes has never really worked correctly. I had thought about getting me a golf cart to ride around on, but me being as frugal as I am, I'm just gonna have to get over my injuries and start riding my big bear again. I haven't rode it in about five years because it just causes so much discomfort and my tailbone injury in my neck operating it using my arms but it's been five years and I'm ready to give it a try again so we're trying to get it back some of the maintenance done on it I've never really worried about the brakes before but now I think it is important that I have brakes which is kind of funny because I won't be driving near as fast as I used to without brakes but life has a way of changing things 
and when your health is at risk, you look at things a lot different. I guess y'all can see in this picture all the gunk that's inside there from years and years and years of just riding in the mud and water. So maintenance is extremely important. You can see a little bit of corrosion on there. It held around 35 for a while, which was extremely cool for us. It was just 85 the day before. Now today is only about 50 degrees. So it makes great weather for doing maintenance and parking outdoor projects. 